Today we're speedrunning through Stick RPG, probably one of the greatest Flash games ever made. Now before we start the speedrun, we're going to reroll our stats until we have at least 29 total points. That's going to be important because we want to make our intelligence as high as possible. And then also, of course, I gotta change my name. But we can finally start our speedrun as soon as I skip the intro cutscene, and then right away you can see what this game is all about. We're a stick man, that's pretty much it. But right away we're gonna do something very risky. We're gonna take a thousand dollar loan out of the bank and then almost get hit by a car. And we're going to be taking all of that to the casino because we need to make some quick money. So in the casino, we can play some blackjack. We get a 17, get the dealer to bust right there. And then we'll do one more bet, get a pair of 10s, which is really good. And we also won again. So we got a little lucky because he did have an ace, but whatever. We're just going to continue on with the run. We'll get both an alarm clock, some smokes and some caffeine pills. And you'll see why we need these things in just a second. And yeah, I literally meant just a second because now we're going to use the smokes and give it to this kid until he dies. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Please never smoke anything. It's not worth it. But then we're going to get on our skateboard, which we just got from killing that kid. And we're going to be increasing our intelligence at the university before going to bed and then doing it all over again. Oh yeah, we're also going to have to repay our loan. Right now it's $1,021. So that's nice and easy because we only took a day to repay it. And now it's time to go back to the university. And this is pretty much all we're doing for the next little while. We're increasing our intelligence and banging our head into a desk. For some reason, this increases your intelligence and then going home sleeping and then having another day where we do the exact same thing also you might notice every time we do something the clock at the top of the screen is going to go a little further and we get it to where it's in the red area and that's the reason we bought the caffeine pills because usually if we get it to that area you won't be able to fully restore your energy but if you have the caffeine pills you will yeah we're kind of just abusing our body so that we can become smarter seems like a regular university but we're going to be doing this until we have 253 intelligence so we're going to be here for a while so i'll be back once this is done and finally after 10 days of doing this we now have 253 intelligence i'm gonna check my caffeine pills just to make sure i have enough and it's time to apply for a job and then ask for a promotion over and over again and become the ceo it's just that easy i mean to be fair we're literally like the smartest person in the world so we just get promoted right away i don't really know why they did that for me but it doesn't really matter for me anymore because now i'm making a lot of money so at this point in the run we're going to be investing that money into the bank because because that's going to get us some more interest. So we're both going to make $2,400 every single day and go and then put that in the bank as well, which is going to give us the interest rate and slowly but surely we'll make a lot of money. Or I guess not really slowly because we do have the CEO salary. I still don't really know why they gave that to me. I mean, I guess it was also weird how they started me out with a janitor without checking my skills. You know, it doesn't really matter. I'm the CEO now. I'm just going to continue on with my life. Take some more caffeine pills because I always need those. Yeah, my life is literally just a grind. I don't do anything fun. I go, I skateboard over to my office building. I work until I'm exhausted and then I put all my money in my bank, go back to sleep, do the same thing all over again. This is literally the Sigma grind set. One nice thing you can say about me though, is I'm a very eco-friendly CEO. I'm still riding a skateboard, even though I am the CEO. So, you know, I'm probably a pretty good guy besides that one time I killed that kid. But we don't have to worry about that. That's all in the past. Now, after a bit more working, we're going to be able to take out all of our money and buy a bigger apartment. Then along with that, we can go over to the store and get both a coma snooze bed and a computer. Oh yeah, I just realized I forgot to say what speed run we're doing. We're doing the 100% speed run where we have to buy everything and also become president. So at this point, we're gonna keep sleeping and then using our computer and it's time to invest in stocks, which literally how stocks work in this game is the minimum price each stock can go down to is a dollar. So we're pretty much just waiting for a stock to get down to a dollar, investing in it, and then continuing. So like right here, we see that our stock raised in price, but it's not good enough to sell just yet. So I'm just going to go back to work, get a little bit more money, and then hopefully I'll be able to invest soon. And this is literally just a strategy. It's back down to a dollar. We're going to buy some more because it is literally impossible for it to get any lower. And yeah, it might be gaming the system a little bit, but it's also kind of weird how their hard minimum is a dollar. So I'm not really going to lose any sleep over over it. But just like many things in this game, this is literally just the grind we do. We wait until it's really low price, we buy a bunch of the stocks, and we continue on with our life. Right there, I actually messed up. I didn't do the math correctly. But that doesn't really matter. We were able to buy a lot more stocks, and we're just really hoping that this price will double. And then go back to a dollar, and then we can double it again. But right now, we are not getting the greatest luck in the world. Because, I mean, I'm still having to go to my job as a CEO. I don't want to do that. I literally want to do nothing. I don't know why this game is making me do all this. Like, again, it's at a dollar 
dollar. I guess I'll buy more stocks so that will be nice in the future, but it's kind of annoying. I mean, at least finally it went up to 1.5. Like I said, all we wanted to do is go up to two. So what I'm going to do right here, I've made enough money as a CEO. I'm just going to kind of sleep and then wait for it to go up. Yeah, I'm literally just being full degenerate. And then finally it makes it to 228. So we're going to sell every single one of our stocks and that's going to make us a ton of money. And pretty much we're just going to do the exact same thing over again. So we'll wait for that one stock to get down to a dollar and then we'll buy it again. And it did right away. So even though we didn't get the best RNG at first, this is actually some pretty good RNG and we should be able to save a lot of time. It goes back to 186 and it made it up to $2 right away. So we're going to sell every single one of our stocks. And yeah, it's pretty much just make some more money. It's very easy. I mean, this is pretty much how life just works anyway, isn't it? Now we want to get up to about 700,000 total dollars until we can continue on the speed run. So I'll update you on any interesting points and we'll just continue on. Okay, there we go. MLG is now back down to a dollar. So we're going to buy all that we can and hope it gets up to $2 as fast as possible. We also could wait for it to get up to like $3 or something like that, but it's also a lot more risky if we do that. And also, okay, our stocks are not doing the greatest in the world, but there it goes. It's now up to 205. So we're going to sell all of those stocks. And we also saw that a different stock is now down to a dollar. So right away, we can go and buy that one. Literally gaming the system. <laughs> this is just what you want to do. Uh, if all these stocks worked like this in real life, I think it's kind of funny because this is legitimately an infinite money glitch. Like we're just making so much money from literally doing nothing. And we are almost up to our price. We only have to have this happen one more time, but that also requires one of the stocks to get down to a dollar. So hopefully that happens sooner rather than later. And there we go. It happened exactly when I wanted it to. And finally, after a few more degenerate nights, it finally gets up to over $2. So we're able to sell everything we own. And I'm pretty sure are we a millionaire now. Wow. That was pretty easy. Who knew? But we're going to go and we're going to buy every piece of real estate there is. Because like I said, this is a hundred percent speed run. So we need literally everything. Then we're going to go to the furniture store, go in there a couple of times and buy all of that stuff as well. So now they're just kind of out of furniture. We'll also buy some more caffeine pills because you always need those. And then finally, we'll also buy the gun, the knife and the cell phone. So yeah, we're now a dangerous rich person. Now at this point, we have an interesting strategy because we're going to put all of our money into the bank and hope hope that it occurs a bunch of interest. I mean, it doesn't really need to because what we're more doing right now is just sleeping over and over again, because you can see every single time that we sleep, our intelligence, strength, and charm goes up. Now we have almost everything in the game done except for becoming president. And to become president, we need at least 800 points in strength, intelligence, and charm. So this is the fastest way of doing it. We literally just sleep. You know, in real life, maybe this isn't the greatest way to become president, but this is the gamer way to become president. And yeah, this is also my life. Just clicking the same buttons over and over again. Oh, I love speed running flash games. But finally, when we get around 200 health, I also like going and stealing this car because that's also part of the 100% speed run. We steal the car and yeah, now it's ours. I mean, we could very easily buy one, but it's just more fun to steal it. Okay, back to this over and over again. I feel so bad for my hands. Now, after legitimately 10 more real life minutes, we finally have enough to become president. What we're going to want to do is go to the bank and we need to take out $200,000. And now we're also going to finally check our messages, see all this stuff, but we don't really care about it. And for some reason, we got an email that said you can become president. And also, yeah, now we're president and we completed the speed run 2649. So yeah, that's the most effective way to speed run stick RPG. It only broke me a lot. At least now we can do this over and over again. And if we look on speedrun.com, we'll see that we didn't do the greatest in the world, but we did all right. But the reason for doing so much worse than first place is literally just this. I could not figure out how to sleep so quickly, but that's probably a good thing because this looks insane and my hands probably would have died. So yeah, I'm just going to take my time. I'm not doing this over again. But see, the real joke is that there's a category where you can use cheat codes and just have all the money you need right away. So you can do everything in the 100% category by literally every single thing and not have to go through all that torture I went through. Why do I never choose these categories? Please subscribe if you enjoyed.